Hey, feeling a little stiff in the lower half? Well, you're in luck! Here are 8 simple exercises to relieve leg and knee pain. Whether you're on your feet all day or chained to a desk, you're probably all too familiar with swelling, tiredness, and pain in your legs and knees. It's one of those problems that don't discriminate. You can be young or old, an athlete or a couch potato. Leg pain doesn't care who you are. Lucky for all of us, there are certain exercises that can help relieve muscle pain in the lower limbs. They don't require much time or special equipment. You can do them from the comfort of your own home, and they can make a huge difference when done regularly. You ready to give them a try? Great! Then let's go! While you're ditching your shoes and getting ready for this 8 exercise routine, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the bright side of life. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our daily updates. Of course, we're going to start with a simple warm-up. Get up and walk around the room for the next 60 seconds. Go on now, I can see you! Your time has started. Nothing too difficult, right? Just get those leg and foot muscles moving so you don't hurt yourself later. Feel free to add in some stretches if you like. You can lift your left foot and stretch it all around in little circular motions. Don't forget the right one! Keep walking, we're halfway through. If you're really flexible, you can grab your left knee and pull it towards your chest. Whoa, easy now, don't fall over! Okay, now try the right one. Ah, a little more walking and we're done! Now that we're warmed up, let's get into the exercises. Exercise number one, calf raises. No, it's not about raising baby cows, the calf in your leg, man! Alright, to do this exercise, stand up straight with your legs together. Push up on the tips of your toes as high as you can. Now lower your heels back down to the floor. Repeat this up and down movement for the next 30 seconds. Timer starts in 3, 2, 1, and go! So what could you possibly get out of such a simple exercise? How about improved balance, strength, and mobility? It targets your core, calves, thighs, and joints. It also stretches the small muscles at the bottom of your feet and improves blood circulation. You feel the burn in your calves yet? Whew, I sure am! 5 4 3 2 1 And done! Alright, exercise number 2. 
Now, since your toes are sometimes called your tootsies, this next exercise will be called the Tootsie Rolls. Don't sit down just yet. For this exercise, you'll need to stand up straight and take a small step forward with your right leg. Roll your left foot so that the tops of your tootsies are against the floor. Hold it for 5 seconds and then return to the starting position. Repeat the same thing, but this time step forward on your left leg and roll your right foot. Again, hold for 5 seconds. We're going to switch between right and left foot 5 second holds for the next 30 seconds. Ready, set, go! Right. Two, three, four, five. And left. Two, three, four, five. Make sure the angle of the foot you're rolling behind you stays straight. There should be a seamless line from your shin to your toes. If you're doing it right, you'll feel stretching on the top of your entire foot. Feels good, doesn't it? Keep going! Right. And left. Five, four, three, two, one. And done. Eh, that wasn't too bad now, was it? Exercise number three, standing calf stretch. For this exercise, you'll need a wall. Now, stand about arm's width away from the wall with your feet slightly apart. Take a small step back with your left leg. Keep your heel on the floor. At the same time, slowly lean into the wall. Put your arms on the wall for balance and support. It takes some coordination, but once you've got it down, it's a piece of cake. Let's do the left leg for the next 30 seconds, starting now. You can most likely feel it from the get-go. But this exercise stretches the major muscles in your calf and heel. It's really useful for those who sit all day. Keep that left heel planted on the ground for a better stretch. 5 more seconds. And done. Now let's switch sides. So take a step back with your right leg, lean into the wall, and feel that stretch. We'll do another 30 seconds for this leg. If you want a deeper stretch, you can lean further into the wall. Just don't overdo it. You don't want to pull anything, right? More often than not, that chronic pain you feel is from tensed up muscles. So this sort of stretching is great at relieving that discomfort since it relaxes the muscles. Almost done now. 3, 2, 1. And nice job! Exercise number 4. Tennis ball roll. Now, if you don't have a tennis ball and you can't steal one from your dog, then a golf ball or frozen bottle of water will do. You can perform this exercise sitting down or standing up. Put the tennis ball under your left foot. Move your foot back and forth to roll the ball from your heel to your toes. You know the drill. 30 seconds on this foot, and then we'll switch to the other. Begin now. This exercise relieves pain in your arches and treats plantar fasciitis. You might have this condition if you sometimes feel dull to sharp pain on the bottom of your heel or foot. Keep rolling, we're almost done. And stop. 
That's enough for the left one. So let's switch to the right foot. Your 30 seconds start now. This tennis ball rolling is also great for people whose job involves being on your feet all day. Three, two, one, and we're all finished with this one. Moving on to the next exercise. Exercise number five, standing hamstring stretch. You'll need a yoga block or something with a similar shape, like a thick book. Stand up straight with a yoga block about three feet in front of you. Put your left heel on top of the block while keeping your right knee straight. Raise your arms up in the air to keep your back straight. Lean your body forward while pushing your hips back. Again, this one sounds more confusing than it actually is. Once you try it on your own, you'll get it pretty quickly. Let's do 30 seconds on that left leg starting now. This one-legged hamstring stretch targets the back of your thigh and knee but it also treats lower back pain and improves overall mobility. Hold that pose in 5, 4, 3, 2, and done! You know what's next! 30 seconds on the right leg! So, recap! Put your right heel on the yoga block, keep that right knee straight, hands up, lean forward, hips back, and stretch! Ooh. If this one-leg version is too difficult for you, you can always start off with a simpler one. You're probably familiar with it. You stand with your feet together and try to reach your fingers to your toes. As for now, we're finished with this exercise. Great job! Exercise number 6. Towel Stretch You're now going to need to grab an exercise band. A towel, a cloth, or a belt twice as long as your leg will do just fine too. Now sit on the floor, straighten your back, and put your legs forward. Loop the middle of the towel under your left foot while keeping a grip on either end of it. Slowly lift your left leg as high as you're comfortable with. Pull the ends of the towel towards you. We'll set the timer for 30 seconds on your left leg. Grasp your towel now and pull. Towel stretch is another exercise that can treat plantar fasciitis. Remember, it's that dull or sharp pain in the bottom of the foot. It also stretches the muscles in your shins and the back of your heel. Just keep that knee straight for a better stretch. You're doing great! 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and done! Do the same exact thing on your right foot now for the next 30 seconds. Here's an interesting tidbit. Plantar fasciitis is also called policeman's heel. Yeah, I bet the men and women in blue have all kinds of aches and pains after the job. 15 seconds, keep going! Three, two, one, 
hand done. Exercise number 7. Achilles Stretch For this exercise, you'll need a yoga block or a low-level step. Put the toes of your left leg up on the block while keeping your heel on the floor. Slowly lean forward and put your weight on your toes or your tootsies. You've got 30 seconds on the clock for your left leg. Let's go! Achilles stretch helps relieve pain in your calf. It also treats Achilles tendonitis, shin splints, and plantar fasciitis. You doing okay? Only put as much weight on your toes as you're comfortable with. Just a few more seconds. And done. Switch to the right leg and we'll add another 30 seconds to the timer. If the one leg version is too difficult for you, you can also step with both feet on the yoga block. That might make it a bit easier for you in the beginning. As for now, we're almost finished here. 3, 2, 1. And great job! Moving on to our final exercise. Exercise number 8. Wall leg rest. Grab a towel, roll it up, and go back to that wall you were pushing earlier. Lie down on the floor with your legs straight up on the wall. Put the rolled towel under your back for support. Keep your arms relaxed by your sides. You think you can stay in this position for the next two minutes? Your time starts now! <laughs> Consider it a little relaxation time for your hard work today. Go to your happy place. Hey now, don't be reaching for that phone, uh-uh-uh! This is peaceful time, remember? Ah. And that's it for today. Remember, you can always add another set or two in each exercise for even better results. So, what do you do to relieve pain in your feet, knees, and legs? Tell us all about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button so you can easily access this video for regular use. And make sure you subscribe to The Bright Side of Life, and we'll see you next time!